You guys, it's day three in Venice. I don't really know how long I'm staying. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna talk to you later. It's so loud. Uh-oh, I'm passing my, sp my place. I have to get, <laughs> I have to get this again, it's too good. Fascio, there's a proper name, but I'm gonna call it cake. But it's not cake. And I, it's unlike anything I've ever tasted before. So, but it's freaking delicious, and she gave me two. Yummy! I'm tearing this cake up. It's so good. The coolest Zara location ever. I was looking for Zara <laughs> and I finally found it. I'll go pop in. I just left Zara. Can I go this way? I just got a, uh, some new clothes from Zara because I'm selling a lot of my clothes, which I'm going to tell you guys. In a second, when I get back to my hotel, I'll talk to you about it. But I think I need to go... How beautiful is this? This little area. There's a Hugo Boss, Tommy. There was the Zara. Okay, let's keep going this way. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to know how to get to that little corner right there. I don't know how to get over there. It'd be a great for a picture. I don't know how to get over there. Oh, somebody dropped their banana on here. Really? Look at the reflection in there. That's beautiful. Venice is so beautiful. I can't get over it. It's like a picture, man. But save your money when you come here. Save your money before you come here because boy, oh boy. It is so expensive. It's so expensive here, but so beautiful. This place is more expensive than Paris. Okay? I'm not saying something. Okay, so I told you guys there's a bunch of like really cool spots that you have to like go find for best pictures and this is the spot that I've been looking for but I just have to figure out how to get over there because I want these red poles right here in my picture and this area is a bit too close. So I think this platform right here is best. I just have to figure out how to get over there. Venice has so many like little tiny 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 streets and stuff that it's like confusing can't go this way <laughs> there's a gate in the water but oh a little crabby crab it's dead anyways i'm tr gonna try and figure out how to get over there sweetest couple just help me okay <laughs> bye thank bye you bye. <laughs> you too excuse me guys so that's how I get my pictures what I do is I'm not afraid to talk to people and I just say I either have my tripod right it's what I did yesterday for yesterday's pictures or I just look at people 
they're, I've never had anyone say no. And I just say, would you mind please taking a picture of me? And then I usually show them exactly what I want first. So I'll take a picture and I'll be like, here is exactly what I want so that they like kind of know. And boom, that's how I get my pictures. And I just teach them how really quickly how to use my camera. So simple. And that's how I get my photos when I travel solo. Because <laughs> it's like the number one question. You guys shouldn't be afraid to ask people, especially in heavy tourist locations because most of the time, the people you're asking want a picture as well. So you say, and then I'll take a picture of you as well. This picture in particular was uh, a tripod picture as well as this one. They were, this is how I take 80% of my pictures. But when I'm not taking it like this, that's when I ask somebody, for example, if it's not in an area where I can set up a tripod, I will simply ask someone to take a photo of me and then I will just show them first exactly what I want. Because I just, I keep ordering this drink, it's so good. It's gingerino, it's what everyone's drinking here. Gingerino. It's so good, it's alcohol free of course, which I love and it's beautiful and so tasty. I'm gonna get one right now and maybe a tiramisu. My gingerino is here, look how beautiful that is, man. Beautiful and the taste is so good. I can't even describe what it tastes like because it's, it's different, but I love it. And I got a tiramisu, yummy. I'm sitting at this place, I don't even know what it's called. Restaurant a la corner, and I can't see the end part. Delicious. the bridge of size. I never came here in Solo, so it's my first time. And I'm gonna head back now and just relax in my hotel. Because I haven't done that this whole trip. Just like sit down for a second. <laughs> Walking so much. So. And I'm happy with the pictures I got so I can go back and get this video up and just chill in my hotel room. So I really actually like my hotel because <laughs> I'm gonna to talk to you guys later about the prices of everything here. It's like, this place is crazy, stupid, expensive. Like, like three times as expensive as Paris. Yeah, it's insane. Insane. But, worth it? No, it is worth it. There's only one Venice, okay? And there only will ever be one. So. It's worth it, but maybe if you don't have so much money to spend, on a vacation, maybe you could just do like two days in Venice, but do not book the weekend if you do, because the weekend is always the most expensive. Like hotels will triple triple their prices for the weekend. So if you wanna like come and have a semi cheaper experience, come during a weekday, come during a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, something like that, because then you will not get the weekend price. Directions Siri gives me <laughs> to get back to my hotel. <laughs> are insane. Okay. 